Hey guys, you know the story. You're in your doctor's office for your physical exam. Things are going well, and there's only one more thing to check. You know what's next. But have you ever wondered why? Welcome to Prostate Cancer 101. The prostate is the part of the male reproductive system that adds nutrients and fluid to sperm. Located in front of the rectum, just below the bladder, it's normally the size of a golf ball. Cell growth of the prostate, both healthy and cancerous, is produced almost entirely by testosterone from the testicles. Wait, cancerous? Let's step back for a second. What does that mean? Our bodies are made up of millions of cells. They form tissue, organs, muscles, and bones. Genes tell these cells to grow, tell them what to do, and when it's time for the cells to die. But sometimes the instructions short circuit and things go wrong. That's cancer. It's when cells grow uncontrollably and can form tumors. They also have the potential to spread to other parts of your body. Prostate cancer can be slow growing, and some men may live for years without it ever being detected. But if the cancer spreads outside the prostate, it can invade other tissues and lymph nodes and spread through the blood to your bones and organs, disrupting their functions. This is called metastatic cancer, and this is how cancer kills. Prostate cancer is the most common cancer to affect Canadian men. One in seven will be diagnosed with the disease, which makes up about 25% of new cancer cases in men. There is no single known cause of prostate cancer. However, it is important to know what can put you more at risk. Risk for prostate cancer increases with age. Men with a first-degree relative, so brother, father, or son with prostate cancer, have an increased risk. Men of Black African or Black Caribbean descent also have an increased risk of developing the disease. Being physically active, losing weight, and eating the right foods are some ways of lowering the risk. But no matter what, prostate cancer is unpredictable, and it's possible to develop the disease even without the known risks. Early detection is the key. But do you know the warning signs? Things to watch for include problems with urination, such as burning or pain, frequent nighttime urination, difficulty or inability to urinate or problems with starting or stopping the flow, painful ejaculation, blood in the urine or semen. You have to remember, however, that these symptoms aren't always there, especially in the early stages. That's why it's important to be an informed patient and talk to your doctor. It gives them the opportunity to discuss two ways of testing for prostate cancer. The first is the PSA, or prostate-specific antigen test. PSA is a protein that can show up in the blood. PSA levels are usually very low, so higher numbers may indicate prostate cancer. It's a simple blood test taken from the arm when your blood is being collected for blood cholesterol and other tests. It's just a matter of ticking a box on the forms before sending your blood work to a lab. The other test is called the DRE, or Digital Rectal Exam. A healthy prostate feels soft, smooth, rubbery, and symmetrical. Your doctor is making sure that this is still the case. But if they feel any lumps, hardened, or irregular areas, this might be a sign of something wrong, and more tests might be needed. You've seen the symptoms, you've seen the risks, you've seen the numbers. The good news is that things are getting better. Education, detecting cancer earlier, better treatment options. They're all helping the death rate from prostate cancer fall by about 4% per year between 2001 and 2009. And they keep falling to this day. So hopefully the next time you're on the examination table and the doctor tells you to relax, well, maybe now you can. There is a lot that we still don't know, and that is why we continue to fund prostate cancer research. For even more information about the disease, take a few minutes and visit prostatecancer.ca. Your prostate will thank you.